Hello and welcome to a video tutorial of the Zero Pro trading platform. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the portfolio window. In the portfolio window, it provides real-time account and order management. All information about open orders, executed orders, closed positions, realized gain and loss, buying power, and order history is displayed real-time and overnight buying power is also available. So we're going to take a look here and just go through some of the features here of the portfolio window. So you can see that uh, we have here on this first tab, this is our open positions. And then we have closed positions, our trade aggregator, order history, and this last field here shows our buying power and overnight availability. Okay, so now this here, this window, portfolio window, shows you your open orders. And here in this upper area is going to show you the pending orders. So what we can do to get familiar with the software is we can place some orders here. And I can show you, for example, how we can do a limit order and also a stop order. So we'll practice some of these orders so you can get a little bit more familiar. Here on Apple, it's trading at 169 167.80. So if I want to put a limit order below the market, simply click preference any field, any price field on the level two and adjust my limit price to 174. And now we're going to send a limit order to buy 100 shares at 174. We have the confirmation appear for us to just double check, verify that information is correct. So buy orders prepared for 100 shares at 174 limit. In a real demo, in a real production account, your route would say whatever ECN that you are using, whether it's ARCA, EdgeX, and the alternative ECNs. So now that I click send, we'll see that the order for 100 shares of Apple is pending at 174. So we see our limit price at 174. And if we simply want to cancel this order, we can just simply cancel the order. Okay, so most time when a trader has a position and we're long here at 176.12, if we want to put a stop order, we can simply click on the level two down to the order preference screen, click on stop market. We have 200 shares, so if I wanted to send out a stop market order for 100 shares or 200 shares, I can just simply click the quantity field. All right, and now my limit price or my stop price is going to be 176.12. Let's just type it in 176. I'll we'll just put 176 even. And I'm going to click sell. And that's going to create a stop market order to sell 100 shares of Apple at 176. Okay, now we see the new order is pending here. You can see our, that it's a stop market order for 100 shares at a stop price of 176. Okay, now that we have a profit of $142 currently on our long position in Apple, let's put an order out there to anticipate, if we anticipate the stock to trade higher here, we can put a profit target out above the market. So right now, Apple's trading at 176.87. Let's just put a limit order for 100 shares at 177 spot 50. We'll click sell. That's going to prepare our order. So we have an action to sell 100 shares of Apple at 177.50. It's going to be a limit order. And it's going to be good on the books till the end of the day. Expiration is going to be day for this order. Click yes. And now we have a profit order out if Apple trades at 177.50 or higher, we should get an execution and 
this will close out our long position of Apple for our 100 shares. So we have 200 shares and we only have a 100 share order out here. So if we want to send out another order, we can simply send out another limit order here for, let's see here, 177.25. Got a limit order to sell 100. Okay, just verify the information. 177.25 is our limit price to sell. 100 shares and now we both have now we have two pending orders to sell Apple at two different prices now this will effectively close out our long position of 200 shares that we have here in the portfolio window Okay, just to take a quick look again, here's our open positions, here's our closed positions. We can see what we realized on these trades. These were the trade aggregator represents the last activity that has happened. So if we let's say if we want to sell Apple here and just take a market order to sell. We can see that the trade aggregator shows the last position that was executed. And we can also see that we just realized a gain of $31 on our 100 shares. Our order history is going to show everything that has happened. All the limit orders, canceled orders, trade aggregator is going to only show orders that were executed. In the portfolio window for each area here, pending orders, you can right click, go to preferences, and whatever columns that you need to add, you can add. I have this set up for equities only, so I have it just the information that I need. And where we have our open positions, there's also preferences. So if you like to change the columns and what information is displayed, simply just go to the columns and add whatever available column you wish. So that concludes our demonstration here of the portfolio window. Thank you for watching. Please click the alert button for other educational videos brought to you by TradeZero.